Clothes and shoes at the bottom of the ocean? Expeditions to Titanic have discovered pairs of shoes on the seafloor, implying a body was possibly once there. But where are the bones and other remains? What about the people that were inside the ship as it sank? Are corpses buried in the seafloor along with millions of other pieces of debris? Bones can and do actually dissolve over time, but the amount of time varies greatly on many environmental conditions including acidity, temperature, light exposure, and so on. Titanic sank in 1912 and was not discovered until 1985, which is plenty of time for bones to dissolve, even if buried in a coffin in typical soil conditions. Studies, while limited, have shown that bones preserve better in shipwrecks if they are actually inside the ship as opposed to outside on the seafloor. This is logical as the interior of the ship shields the body from ocean currents, organisms, and so on. There are very limited studies detailing the dissolution time of human remains in saltwater, especially at extreme depths. The extreme cold of the deep North Atlantic means far less organisms than at a shallower depth. Organisms will eat away at the biological material and hasten the decaying process, while producing huge quantities of bacteria. There is also zero sunlight at the depth Titanic rests in. The research has shown that DNA breakdown of human tissue and bone is significantly greater in saltwater conditions compared to dry, freshwater, and even swampwater conditions. Due to the chemical composition of DNA, it attracts water molecules, even post-mortem. When bodies are submerged in water for extended periods of time, the process of hydrolysis greatly accelerates cracks forming in the bone which water can enter. And as more water enters the cracks become larger, resulting in a domino effect. This results in much more rapid macroscopic loss of bone. Other shipwrecks older than Titanic have had skeletal remains discovered inside of them, but these were at much shallower depths where the water pressure is much lower. Generally speaking, the majority of human remains around or in the Titanic were likely gone long before her discovery in 1985, and none have ever been documented. It is possible there are some macroscopic remains within the hull of the wreck, but I doubt we will ever know. In my best estimation, the only possible macroscopic remains are likely to be teeth, as they are much more wear resistant and stronger than bone due to their chemical structure. Which is why they are often the only things left from a body that has been decomposing for a long time, which makes them valuable in identifying the deceased. If the objective was to find bones, it may be advantageous to find shoes or boots that are inside the wreck. The tannins used in leatherworking make the material very resistant, which is why shoes are still intact at the wreck even after 100 years. There could be bones still inside as well as possibly some socks or other foot garments. However, any remains inside the ship would likely be buried in sediment. Nobody is going to attempt to dig around inside of a crumbling, internationally protected shipwreck two and a half miles deep for some bones or teeth. If they were allowed to dig and had the means of doing so, they'd be much more interested in artifacts, some of which have been auctioned off for millions of dollars to museums or private collectors. Thanks for watching.